Jellyfish and eels may seem like weak and useless creatures, but what if I told you that the process of evolution shaped them to move through the water using little to no energy? They're also more efficient than Michael Phelps at swimming, use less energy than an LED light bulb, and even more efficient than a Toyota Prius on gas. But their secret to such good swimming has eluded scientists for years. Until now. Inside Science TV. The way animals move through water is they have to move the fluid around them. And one of the things that our research is showing us is that animals are actually doing this a lot differently than we thought. So all the textbooks, all the old scientific literature basically says that animals need to push against the fluid. They actually produce low pressure further up their body, which actually creates this uh, sort of a suction type force that, that helps them move forward. Jellyfish were a really interesting example for us because they are a very simple animal. They basically uh, have very simple body plans. When they swim, they have to contract that bell, their body, and then move forward. And it turns out that they have an interesting trick up their sleeve. They can actually recapture some of the energy and fluid that was lost behind them and, and can actually get a second boost using no extra energy. We use high-speed cameras, and we need high-speed because a lot of these movements, especially when you're looking at them at higher magnification, are actually happening quite quickly. One of the things that's difficult and challenging about trying to understand how animals move through water is that water is a clear, transparent medium. So we use some techniques, one of them being particle image velocimetry, sort of a laser-based imaging method to visualize the fluid and water movement around animals. We are hoping to learn from animals. They've been around for millions and millions of years. They've been at this a lot longer than we have. So they are able to you know, move very efficiently through the water, and we're hoping to learn from them. We can actually see how these animals, for the first time, are actually able to move through a fluid. Most of the, the potential applications in biospire design for swimming would be for an underwater vehicle, something like a small ROV, for example, something that may need to, or, or scientific instrumentation that may need to stay out in the water for a longer period of time. The thing I find really cool about this research is that we're essentially peering into sort of an invisible world. We're able to see fluid motion um, that just can't be seen with the naked eye. This is Inside Science TV. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.